Today is a special day for me. It's my three-year anniversary of living here in the beautiful region of Provence. So, I wanted to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude for this incredible journey and the life-changing move I made three years ago. The mix of emotions I felt back in 2020, sadness, fear, and the unknown, it was all overwhelming. But little did I know that this adventure would be one of the most enriching experiences of my life. Provence has taught me so much about life and living in harmony with nature. The fast-paced lifestyle I left behind in Los Angeles has been replaced by a slower, more meaningful way of living. I've learned to appreciate the everyday simplicities, like the scent of fresh baked goods that fill the streets, the sound of cicadas in the summer, and the warm embrace of the sun as it sets over the horizon. Living in Provence has been a series of wonderful adventures, exploring charming villages, savoring delicious produce, building a stronger connection with myself. Each day is an opportunity for discovery and growth. Today is my three year anniversary of living in France. So we are at Paul's grandma's house, enjoying a cup of coffee. This is a weekly ritual of us to come here and uh, play Scrabble. And we brought patisserie so that we can celebrate my three year anniversary. Désolé. <laughs> As I stand here today, looking back on the last three years, I can't help but be filled with immense gratitude. Gratitude for the challenges that shaped me, the joys that filled my heart, and the people who have become my second family. Oui, mais alors t'as pas d'intimité Non. Ça dépend, tu partages ce que tu veux partager. Tu peux oui, tout mettre. Euh... Merci Provence for embracing me, for teaching me, and for giving me a place to call home. And to all of you watching, thank you for being a part of my journey and sharing in my joy. Remember, life is an adventure and it's full of surprises. Embrace change, open your heart to new experiences, and you never know where the path might lead you. Pop, 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 pop. Happy anniversary! Merci! Like you wish? Bon anniversaire parmi nous! Merci! Good morning, good morning! Today we are off to somewhere special, the Kalanks, and I have never taken you guys along to the Kalanks. I am actually going to a new one. My friend is taking me, I'm waiting for her. She should be here any minute. And we are going without our partners because they're not much of hikers and they are not much a fan of the water and we are. So I'm excited to go off with a friend today and go visit the Kalongs. So it'll be nice because it'll be my first time seeing this one and I can't wait. Let's go. So we made it. We're on the trail. This is Gretchen, who's showing me this beautiful hike and it's been stunning the whole time. Um, and I wanted to show you guys something because there is little ways where you could tell if you're going the right way. And we've made a few mistakes from talking too much and not paying attention. So let me show you. There is this little cross tells you not to go that way. And then for the right way to go, you just follow this. I don't know if you could see it. So that shows you the right path. But let me show you this stunning viewpoint. What is it, Gretchen? We have a beach right there! <laughs> oh my god! This is crazy! Oh my god! Oh my god! We made it and 
it. The hike is actually not bad at all. There are a little bit, um, some scary slippery points, but that's because I wasn't wearing the right shoes. It took us, I would say maybe an hour, uh, maybe a little longer, but it didn't feel that long because I was in good company. But uh, yeah, we're here and it is really nice. There is one person actually around the corner that we saw that's sleeping and more people are starting to arrive. So we came just in time and it's beautiful. We're gonna get hot now and get to go in the water. We're both a little bit nervous, but we'll be okay. <laughs> my glasses so I'm gonna leave them here and run in and probably just run right out because it's free to go. bombarded with the wasps, so we gave them something to munch on. Gretchen was just telling me that she can't believe that this is real life. That we're just here on a Wednesday afternoon, sitting by the Mediterranean Sea and enjoying this stunning view. It's wild. <laughs> and it's really nice because it was really windy today and the temperature is like 80 degrees. And it's been scorching hot here lately. So today is perfect. And there's really not that many people here. Usually at the Colons, they're usually filled with people and people are packed like sardines on the beach. When we came, we were the first ones, or the second ones here. And then people started coming after us. And But it's still pretty empty and it's just a dream. 